Hi everyone, Alex with you. In this video I will show you how attach and detach work in splines. In order to test this, I already have three such splines. They are identical. You can have a wide variety of splines, no matter the shape or size. The essence of these functions is that attach can attach spline to one logical group and detach can detach them from this group. How does this happen visually? That is, I have elements. I can select each of them separately. They are not in the same logical group and they are not related to each other in any way. Attach will allow you to attach them. I'll select the spline to which I want to attach another spline. I go down in the parameters a little lower. And there are two options – attach and attach multi. The first attach allow you to attach only one element. And multi allow you to attach all the elements you need. Let's try attach. To do this, I will click the attach button. It lights up blue. And I click on the spline that I want to attach. They became one logical group. I disable attach by clicking the button again. And now if I select one of the splines, the second one is select along with it. This is different from normal grouping of objects because grouping simply creates an outer group for ease of movement or rotating. And the logical group is used to adjust that spline. For example, by going into vertexes, I can select vertexes of both one spline and another because they are located together and they are logically connected. Attach multi. By clicking on this button, a window will open in which I can add any number of splines that I have created. They will all be listed here. That is, I can select the third rectangle from the list. This is just this one. If there were more of them, I could highlight even more. And I press the button at the bottom called Attach. They are again in the same logical group. To detach a spline from this logical group, you must use the detach button. To do this, we first need to show the program which spline we want to detach. In the editing modes, I'll select the third option, which is called spline. Here he is. Now I can select the whole spline by clicking on it. Or circle it. Let's go down in the parameters. Even lower than attach. Here he is. By clicking once, it will ask what to name the new spline. I will leave its shape alone. I click OK. Oh, it became a different element. That is, if I select it now, it works separately and these two are in the same logical group and work separately. Why it might be useful to attach an element to one another? As an example, if I now apply the extrude modifier to these two splines and increase its parameters, they are extruded as two separate elements. The same thing will happen if I, for example, take this spline, move it to them and apply extrudes due to the fact that these are separate objects. He applies his own extrude to each. These are all unrelated objects. That is, nothing happens to them, they are simply extrudes out. But if they are attached and they intersect, for example like this, Then, for program, this is a logical group that must interact with each other. And if I add an extrusion, it believes that they are together, that they interact. And it turns out to be a more complex shape with a whole, because he thinks that they work together. That's probably all. If the video was useful to you, subscribe to the channel, because it will only get more interesting.